Hey, how's everybody doing? Are you doing good? Doing all right? Kind of hanging in there, getting by. Are you are you fantastic? Well, I hope you're fantastic. I hope you're doing just just fucking peachy. You know what I'm saying? Uh, I'm all right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hanging in there. Um. As much as I love, I, I mean, I love summer. I'd rather it be warm or hot or cold. But at the same time, uh, it is it's too hot. It really is. And, I mean, I, I'm sure it's not bad if you're not out in it for hours on end. But when you're out there for a while, yeah, it, it says a little toasty. Uh... But, I'd still rather be the way it is now here in Ohio than winter that which we're going to have here for soon. Yeah, it won't be too long before we'll all be bitching about how freaking cold it is. Um, so let's take the warm weather, the scorching weather, the, the uh, blistering weather while we have it. Um, anyway... Here I am, and depending on when you're watching this video, or if you're watching this video, or, well, I mean, obviously you're watching a video, otherwise you wouldn't be hearing me say this. Um, but, yeah, I've kind of got a little bit of a backlog. This, this makes, like, the fourth or fifth video that I've, I've gotten done and wasn't able to put on right away. Um, uh, a few of them are from actually last month's boxes. So... If you see them and you, and you watch them and you're wondering why they seem kind of out of time and space, it's, well, it's because I did the videos and I just then recently got around to putting them on. Hey, I'm a busy guy. You know, between work at work and, and trying to do some work here at home and then finding time to put sleep in there somewhere. Um, yeah, I just haven't had time. But they're on her now, so hey, there you go. Now, let's get to the, the present time and the present uh, state of affairs. Um, I've got my Z chest here. Um, if this is the first Z chest unboxing that you're watching, is this the first time you've ever heard of Z chest? Um, real quick explanation is it's basically a monthly subscription box. A mystery box, you don't know exactly what you can get. The one thing you can be sure of is that everything in this box will in some way, shape, or form relate to The Walking Dead. And I don't mean just like the TV series. I mean as in a gen general term as in The Walking Dead, the undead, zombies, hence the Z in Z chest. Um, and it can range... Um, normally most of the stuff you get in these boxes has to do basically straight with like zombies, but it can also lean more toward kind of like the supernatural side of things or more towards just more monster type things or, you know, it's, there's, you know, or like vampires, which are technically undead. Um, so it, it can vary a little bit, but. For the most part, it's zombies, which you're looking at with this box. Also, this makes, I believe this would make this, I'm pretty sure it was the fourth one that I've gotten. Yeah, pretty sure this is the fourth one. And I'll say, I think the last one that I got wasn't as good as the first two that I got. But overall, in comparison with some of the other boxes that you can get out there, um, this one has some has pretty high caliber merchandise in it. A, a wide range of merchandise, um, stuff that you, a lot of times you won't find um, just in the type of merchandise it is. You don't know, find stuff like that in, in other boxes. Um, they put a lot of uh, real time and effort. 
well, throw on their thinking caps uh, to put some unique stuff in this subscription box. So if you like zombies, like me, and you want to get something each month to where it's about zombies, but you don't know exactly what's in it, check out Z Chest. It's just zchest.com. And uh, subscribe. I think it works out to be. I'm thinking I have to double check, but it's either just over twenty dollars a month or it's just over thirty dollars a month. That's it, with the shipping. Um, either rate, you're getting your money's worth. So let's break into this one and we'll see what this one is. Hey. All right. They always have like the little spoiler thing in there that talks about everything. I will wait and look at that in a minute. T-shirt. Okay. Oh, and this goes with the big fad. And that's that's what I say it is because, I mean, it, it's in the news constantly right now. But um, I'm thinking... Over a little time, once the kind of novelty of it wears off, I'm sure a lot of people will still be doing it, but it won't be like big news that it is now. It'll find it fall off to the wayside as most game things do. But everybody, you know, everybody, you see them walking around all the time. I mean, and it, it stands to figure, you know, nothing against people that, that like Pokemon, or, I mean, I, I think the whole idea of this app or this game where you actually have to get up and move around um, in order to do it I mean not just be up on your feet but you actually have to you know go walking around and stuff it's genius it is and if it means just you know just one person even just one I'm sure there will be a lot more than one but even just one person gets up gets out and because of this they end up getting in better shape they end up being more active they end up maybe losing a little weight they may get their health a little bit better then i'm all for it i am you know i myself i play you know um i'm plenty active without a, a game like that to do it i mean between my job and then just me in my personal life, I just, you know, I'm always doing stuff, you know, I've, I've got a house, I'm always working on stuff around it, you know, whether it's the landscaping or paint or stuff, I'm always, you know, I'm up doing stuff, I get a lot of exercise just naturally, um, so I, you know, I can't, I don't, I don't see you playing the, the, the game, but, you know, I'm not speaking out against it, but at the same time, I mean, you won't see me out walking around essentially like a zombie. You know, what I mean, that's what people look like. You know, they're like in packs. You see like three or four of them. And you can tell that's what they're doing because they're all like, they're not even watching where they're going. They're just like huddled together, looking at their phone. So, I just have, you know, be careful there, you know. It should, you know, don't Pokemon Go and walk at the same time. I mean, I know you got to walk in order to do the game, but, you know, when you're really looking at it, you know, stop. Because I can just see somebody, like, walking into something or walking into traffic or something like that. Wouldn't be good. Anyway, I know I'm rambling. Here we go. There we go. That says Zombiemon. And, of course, that is the, the Pikachu. Only zombified. So, I said that's pretty cool. That's pretty novel. You know, I, I've seen people. I've seen other people with boxes. I mean, uh, unbox. There was one guy I watched that uh, uh, unboxed Z chest, and he was complaining about the quality of their shirts, <coughs> saying that you know, well, you can kind of see it through it. It's, it's fucking fabric. Duh. Yeah, I mean. I've never had a t-shirt that I couldn't like hold up. And if there was some light shine that I couldn't 
basically you know, see through. Um, but I don't know. I mean, this to me, this is just like your run of the mill, you know, quality shirt. I mean, it's the Jersey's brand. Uh, I'm sure it's probably 100. Yeah, it's 100% cotton. Um, I don't think it's pre shrunk, so that's why I always get mine. This is an XL. That's I always I always get stuff in XL, not because I necessarily wear an XL and fit wise, but because I like to have it a little bit bigger. And I know even pre shrunk stuff that after you wear it and wash it a few times, okay, it's going to snug up a little bit more. Um, just the stitching and so forth. So you know, I know, I think they're they're fine. And he was, I know he was talking about uh, how the the ink it looked like it was like an just an iron on. Um, you know, I don't know. To me, this this feels it, it doesn't feel like the old like iron on that you could get you know you could be able to get like in cereal boxes you know i don't know tony the tiger or something and stuff like that and you put on it was like real crinkly okay this isn't this isn't like this um, i mean you can you can feel where the ink is but it actually feels like it's actually silk screened um not just like a transfer so hey, uh, I like the shirts, and I love the fact that they're not just always your standard black or white. They normally have, I think every shirt I've gotten from there has been um, like a different color shirt, which you know, which is cool. All right, next, we have a little, what are these, koozie, I think that's what they're called, right? It's just radioactive. Uh, makes me kind of think of the old trauma film and, and character of uh, Toxic Avenger. Yeah. Uh, I'll probably make use of this. I don't always use them, but you know what? Let's be practical. You know, my last can of Mountain Dew right here. I'll have to go get some more tomorrow. I'm like addicted to Mountain Dew. Oh, there's the caffeine. I think it's just like the actual taste. There's nothing. There's nothing quite like Mountain Dew. I mean, you have the off brands that yeah, they taste decent, but nothing tastes exactly like Mountain Dew. You know, like a Coke or Pepsi. Uh, you know, they're unique, and I know that's because of you know the way they're they're made they probably have like an actual formula or a certain flavoring that they use that they have the patent to or whatever but yeah if i go too long with that and do i get a freaking headache i think that's because of the caffeine all right next it's amazing how much stuff they pack in these boxes too i mean if, if you're really looking at a good subscription box too, where you're going to get your money's worth, I'm telling you, Z Chest, they, they put a lot of stuff in these little Alright, here we have a. Uh, it looks like it, I mean, I'm guessing this is. Like a. I don't know. I don't want to say it's a necklace, because I can't imagine using this thing for a necklace, but it almost looks like a luggage tag. But, uh, it's got a little plastic thing there that says zombie crossing. Uh, yeah. I mean, I'm not real big on, on jewelry, so if this was meant to be like a, a necklace, I don't expect I'd be wearing it. And I don't really have luggage. Um,. Actually, I mean, I do have a few pieces of luggage upstairs in storage, but they never really get used because I, I never fucking go anywhere. I can't afford to. Plus, I'm not real big. I mean, I would if, if I could afford it, I probably would. You know, travel once in a while, you know, get out and see some stuff. But overall, I just uh, kind of a homebody. I'll admit it. You know, I got all my little adventuresome. 
part mm -hmm. done when I was younger, I guess. Alright, next we've got looks like a poster or a print. Um let's see if we can get the tape. They got tape. Which why would you do that? I think it'd be better to just put like a something around like a sleeve to hold it in place. The tape's coming off slowly. I don't want to try to rip into it. I don't have my little pocket knife handy. Use the little sharp part of the compass. All right, yeah, this is just a little poster, which is actually pretty cool. What's this? Might, this might almost be like a decal. Yeah, it feels like a decal. Quarantine zone, class five zombie infestation. See, I like that. That's that's, pretty, but it feels like it's. It's a decal or not? I'm gonna find out here in a second. I mean, it just it feels kind of like a decal, but no. Well, I mean, if it is, I'm gonna have to be a little more careful taking taking the backing off. We'll walk the other way. To, Flatten it out a little bit. Yeah, I'll probably hang that up. That's pretty cool. Next, we've got zombie men, like little army men. Only they're zombies, obviously. Uh, I mean, I don't expect I'll like really do anything with those because I just end up losing them. What if they get dropped? The dog will get a hold of them, eat them. So I'll probably actually end up getting rid of those. No offense to to Z chest. I mean, it's cool and everything. I just you know, like I said I'm losing them or something. All right. Next, we have a button. They've been putting a button in each one. Now, so there's the button, and as you can see, I mean, these are pretty, these are pretty good buttons. I don't really wear buttons, but you know, I've said that now that they're putting, uh, you know, these. These there's the back of it. You know, these are, are pretty good quality buttons. Um, I thought you know I might eventually get like a little jacket or just like a shirt or something, <clears throat> something a little durable, and I'll just you know put all the buttons on it. And, um, that way they're all in one place. But I haven't gotten around to doing that yet either. All right, next, there's something else that feels like it's cloth in here. I'm not sure what this is. This looks like a little like canvas bag. Yep. Zombie survival kit. So just like a little little canvas bag thing. It's got the little shoulder strap things on it. Uh, actually, I have another one of these that I got um, in one of my uh, box of dreads for I want to say it was for the town that dreaded sundown maybe. But it was like a, a canvas. 
All right, and that's everything in the box. The last thing in the box looks is like a little little plastic cup here. It's like a like a zombie like skull pirate. Um, and that's basically just what that is. It's just a plastic cup. Just plastic cup, nothing to. I mean, I mean, that's literally just what it is. It's just this plastic. I almost uh, put it in the in line of like a like a kid's style cup, you know, because it's plastic, so if it falls, you know, that's where I get it broke. Um, it's lightweight. Hmm. Okay. So that's it. That's uh, that's everything in the Z chest for July. Um, again, not bad. I mean, it, it had a good mix of stuff in it. There wasn't really anything that was like licensed. Um, you know, as in a sense of like a certain franchise. This was more just like general zombie stuff um, so I do like the quarantine little poster like I said it, it feels like it's almost like a decal but I'll have to look at it a little bit more I like the shirt uh, the take on the the uh, Pokemon craze it's right now um, I not I wouldn't put the first two Z chests that I got were phenomenal um, these last two that I got eh, they're still good um, but not as good as the first two so I'm sure you know it's going to vary. You know, anytime you have a subscription box thing like this, you're going to have some that are better than others. Uh, but overall, it's pretty good. Uh, let me look real quick. Okay, the zombie sign doesn't say it's a decal, so I'm going to assume that it's not. It just feels like the way it's made. It feels like it, so. Um, they said there was one of six different designs. Um, zombie grog mug. Grab your gog and, and grab your grog and sing a shanty with the zombie pirate mug. Um, the zombie men. Zombie bond T-shirt. Zombie survival bug out bag. Um, the cozy or koozie, which again I'm already using. Zombie sign pennant. And that was it. So, uh, um, I said not the not the best Z chest I've seen, but it still ranks up there. Um, um, it, it, pretty good. So, uh, that's it for today. I'm actually, I can't believe it, it's already a little bit after 9 o'clock. Um, I might be going to bed here in the next two hour and a half or so. Uh, I've got uh, work tomorrow. Obviously, I'm going to do some painting. And then, I'm debating whether to go down to, um, one town five ten minutes up the road in Troy I think downtown on the square they're actually having a kind of a country blues um, band so I might get to see them so I actually if you're when you're watching this video it's, I it was probably already happened um, so I'm filming this video on on Thursday night but um, probably actually not actually this hasn't actually been posted in probably till Sunday is when I'm probably gonna have first chance to really sit down and do it uh, and if you're also watching this I, I'm gonna I'm gonna assume like I said I'm doing this on Thursday so I can't say for sure but I'm gonna assume I'm gonna have a good time but I'm actually going to the Wizard World Comic Con in Columbus on Saturday uh, my daughter's going to see and meet Ian Summerhalder I think that's how you pronounce his last name uh, from Vampire Diaries. Uh, I was really looking forward to seeing Jewel State. Um, but, of course, um, I 
I believe that because of the scheduling conflict, she had to cancel out of the, the Comic Con. Kind of bummed. I really wanted to meet her. Uh, gosh, she's just she's gorgeous, isn't she? Uh, from Firefly? Yeah. I love her. She's so great. But I'm sure there'll be other times. Um, but on the other hand, what, you know, one of my other favorite shows, there is one person going to be from the X Files. There, uh, Mitch Pelagi, who played Walter Skinner, is, is going to be there. So I'll probably get meet him, get his autograph and a picture to put up with all my other ones out in the theater room. Um, outside of that, I probably won't be doing a whole lot. I'm, I mean, I'm taking a little bit of money with me, but but not a whole lot. So still going to have time. I'll be with my daughter, so I'm going to have going to have a good time regardless. Uh, but that's it. Okay, I'm leaving. I'll see you. Um, stay tuned. Here, here soon, um, I should have my first box from Full Moon Entertainment, which I'm um, rather excited to get the first mystery box of it and see what's in it. So, keep an eye out for that. In the meantime, hey, be good to each other, all right? It's not, it's not a hard thing to do. Look past what you see in a person. You know, the color of their skin. You know what their faith is, or what their politics is, especially politics these days. I mean, who gives a shit whether you're a Democrat or Republican? We all want the same stuff. We just, they just have different ways of doing. It. Let them deal with it. You know, every everybody else. You know, you just get along with each other. All right. You know, I'm not even going to say all lives matter. I'm just going to say life matters. Okay, that's it. Life matters. You know, not even just the human life. I want to say life matters in general. You know, we're all part of the big circle of life. So, do your part and, and treat your neighbors with respect. You know, unless they give you an absolute reason not to. In my experience, most people, if you just take the time and just fucking be decent to each other a little bit, we won't have any problems. You know, all these things we, we get up in arms about. It's, it's ridiculous. It's sad. It's, it makes us look weak that we all can't just accept each other the way we are. Yeah, I've got a certain philosophy. So if you ever see me, if you're ever out and about, if you're ever in Miami County, Troy Piqua area, and you happen to be out and you say, hey, that guy looks familiar. You know what? I don't care who you are. I don't care where you're from. If you're a decent, law-abiding person, that enjoys life. Hey, come up and talk to me. I'd love to meet you. I gotta say, my simple philosophy is: is I look through all past all those superficial things that everybody else wants to judge each other on. I don't see that unless you make that a reason for me to see it and, and to judge accordingly. I won't. You respect me. I respect you. So respect. See you.